A simple graph shows connections between objects. However, sometimes the connections are directional. For example, parent to child, manager to subordinate, and web page to web page. We could talk about graphs with directed edges, but instead we call them digraphs. We usually represent the directed edges with lines with arrows, where the arrow indicates the direction of allowable travel. So in the digraph shown, let's find, if possible, a path from vertex 1 to vertex 5. Now, there is an edge between vertices 1 and 5. Unfortunately, it's going the wrong way, so it can't be used to go from 1 to 5. A useful strategy in math and life, it's easier to know where you've come from than where you're going. So we want to get to vertex 5. To get to vertex 5, we could have come from either vertices 3 or 4. So if we could get to either one of these, we could get to 5. But to get to 3, we had to have come from 4. So we need to get to 4. To get to 4, you had to come from 2. And to get to 2, you could have come from 1. And so there's an edge giving us the path 1 to 2 to 4 to 5. We can describe a digraph more formally. We have a set of vertices V. We have a set of edges E, which are ordered pairs of vertices from V. We'll continue to reject edges that link a vertex to itself for now. Trails, walks, paths, and cycles still mean the same thing, suitably modified because our edges are now ordered pairs. So an edge V1, V2 can be in a path that includes an edge from v1 to v2, but if our path goes from v2 to v1, this edge can't be used. The degree of a vertex in a graph is the number of edges incident on it, but in a digraph, not all edges are equal. Some go to the vertex, and some go away from the vertex. This leads to the following definition. In a digraph, the in degree is the number of edges leading to a vertex, and the out degree is the number of edges leading away from the vertex. And like the degree, this is just a matter of counting. So we can find the in degree and out degree of all of our vertices. And so we find vertex 1 has one edge leading to it and one edge leading away, so it has in degree 1 and out degree 1. Vertex 2 has two edges leading to it and one leading away, so its in degree is 2 and its out degree is 1. Vertex 3 has one edge leading to it and three edges leading away from it. Vertex 4 has and Vertex 5 has What about some of our other basic graph theory theorems? In a graph, the sum of the degrees of all vertices must be twice the number of edges. In a digraph, well, it's not really a handshake as giving someone your business card. Each edge adds one to the degree and one to the out degree. So if a digraph has n edges altogether, the sum of the n degrees is n, and the sum of the out degrees is also n. How about Euler trails? Here it's probably easier to use our tabular form of the in degrees and out degrees. Suppose we had an Euler trail. We'd enter vertex 1 and leave it once. 
We'd enter vertex 2 twice and leave it once. We'd enter vertex 3 once and leave it three times. We'd enter vertex 4 twice and leave it twice. And we'd enter vertex 5 twice and leave it once. But we can't enter a vertex like 3 just once and then leave it three times. So an island trail is impossible. And so this leads to the following. In order for an island trail to exist in a digraph, oh my, look at the time. Well, we'll leave this problem as a homework problem.